Uh, I'm enjoying it. It's, there's a lot of great people here, uh, training people. Uh, some of my favorites are Kevin Tetz uh, with Paint Education and Sada. There's a bunch of good companies here representing ASE. Milwaukee's here to support the ASE Conference, um, be a industry um, partner with ASE, um, partnering with them in all aspects of working with the instructors, um, getting involved more in the industry and getting that name out there as a power tool company um, that wants to be more involved within the industry. We've actually experienced a load of people so excited to see us here, which has been really cool. We've seen a lot of involvement in, in the training sessions, which has been really nice. I think everyone is really excited to see us here. I know we were here last year, uh, but we weren't able to do the training session. So this is the first time that we're really able to speak to everyone, kind of go through our, our innovation training. And I think it's really given people another side to Milwaukee and really how we can support uh, not just locally, but nationally as well too. And I think everyone's really excited to be here and it's really cool to see that people are, are ready to get involved. They have questions ready um, and really seeing how we can help and support too. Absolutely. Um, a world of information, um, not only for us, um, but for us to be able to share with instructors, things that they can take back um, to their students, to their classrooms, share with their schools um, about how the industry is coming together, how ASE is helping us all you know, intermingle, connect, make those connections, have those people, you know, around the nation. Um, throughout that expo, we were able to, you know, meet instructors, gain those contacts, um, give them those things of how we're going to help them, you know, educate those future students, those future, you know, technicians in the industry, um, providing, you know, different power tool solutions, thinking differently and providing those solutions was a great opportunity for us to mingle with them. Um, kind of take a step back and casually, you know, talk through and, and really make those great lasting relationships um, that I think are going to help build the industry moving forward. Oh yeah, the expo was great. We had a ton of foot traffic. It, it was nonstop. So again, I was really excited to see everyone be excited that we were there too. So got a lot of great questions. I think that's always really important too, making sure that we can answer any questions that everyone has. It's not often that we see people um, of this multitude on this scale at once. So really making sure that, that we can show everyone how we're here to support, how we can build those relationships and make sure everyone is understanding our roles and how we can take that back home um, and how we can provide support once we all, all leave the conference and, and take everything that we've learned from here as well. So, you know, I, I reflected back on my time. This is my ninth year coming or participating in this uh, conference teaching. And, you know, I'm, I'm coming from the uh, aftermarket and I'm, I'm here to share my experiences and knowledge and hopefully providing some conduit to what we need in the field to educators educating our future workforce. So I've done two, I'm teaching two different topics. Uh, one uh, covering ADAS, and um, I took a deep dive into ADAS about six or seven years ago and uh, took a lot of different training. And in the beginning, I had a lot of questions. So uh, what I've done on my own is to dive in to study the computer vision science and develop some tools so that I can share that with, with others and let students and these instructors interact with these tools to show what's really going on behind the scenes with ADAS and how important those systems are. Uh, this, the other topic that I'm teaching on is new, new technology, focused on Tesla, Tesla Cybertruck, which is a brand new platform from them. And there's a lot of advancements there with uh, uh, four-wheel steering, steer by wire, so there's no physical connection between that steering wheel and the rest of the car, 800 volt platform, and what I truly believe to be the next generation of diagnostics, where we'll be able to remote into the car, and we're actually doing that today. Uh, we remote into the car, we can look at things in the past, we can look at high resolution data and help to triage that vehicle. And uh, that truly is, uh, in my opinion, next generation. It has really excelled. You know, I started in early on you know, with computer controlled carburetors, and now we have fuel injection, direct injection, and a very complicated machine. So we really need folks that, that are really good with diagnostics, analytics, critical thinking, and really what, what they are training themselves for 
is, is the future. And it can open up all kinds of avenues. You know, I, I know of some folks that have gotten really good at what they do. They either turn into an instructor or they may even go to work for an OEM and become like a field service engineer. So he's another problem solver. So solving problems, diagnostics, analytics, uh, that, that's huge.